Following Southport's agonising exit from the Blue Square North playoffs, the club wasted no time in making Gary Brabin their full-time manager. Yesterday afternoon, the Southport visitor went to Hague Avenue to speak to the boss and ask him if it was an easy decision accepting the club's offer. Yeah, it was. I never had any doubt that I wanted to stay and manage the club. Um, you know, there was a few little things I just wanted to see. You know, the, the part-time, full-time status that was a, that was a big factor, and what league we were going to be in. Um, you know, I had to take all that into consideration. I'm looking forward to it. You know, there's some good players here. There's a, a lot to build on. Um, some good young players. I think I think it was important that the, the club, not not for me, but for the clubs, kept its full-time status. You know, you can't yo-yo from the leagues and turn on on and off being full-time and part-time. I think it's important that it kept its full-time status and helped the development of the younger players as well. I've come here with ambitions to win the league. That's what I want to do. Um, you know, that's. I'm putting myself under pressure again, but you know that's I think every any any manager who takes over any club and it, straight away out oh, full time you're in a part time league the expectancy is there that you, you know you, you've got to win the league. I've always said I mean first and foremost this club should be competing in the conference at, at very worst it should be an average mid table conference side. As with every club at the end of the season, transfer speculation surrounds Southport. So what are Brabin's plans for the summer? There's a couple of names of you know and things, but I, you know I, I haven't spoke to anyone yet. There's still playoff games, and you've got to respect other other clubs, you know um, their plans. So you know it, it, it's hard at this stage of the season. Plus, I haven't even spoke to my own players. We've got a meeting today, right. a team meeting, and you know, and then I'll be looking to speak to them all individually. Which I knew the budget before I come. You know, as a manager, you've got to wheel and deal a little bit. Um, you know, and I've just, I've just got to sort of, like I said, I've just got to speak to my own players first, see what their their plans are, their ambitions. Will Brabin be lacing up the boots again? Ideally, not. You know, I think the club, you know, what, what managing, and uh, I was doing it all on my own the last six weeks of the season in terms of training, and that, and I, I think it would be unfair uh, to play as well. Um, you know, I'm not going to rule out the, the, the you know, the, the thought of it. You know, I'll still put a form in. I'm still be registered as a player, but um, you know, I shouldn't be getting in our first eleven. So, just finally, uh, Gary Robin, full-time manager of Southport Football Club. How does that sound? Yeah, good. It sounds good. It's, I've waited a while to hear that, but you know, it's it's nice now it's happened, and I just hope I can, you know, be a success to the club.